Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Edward and today I will be showing you some Bible study tools that has helped me um, improve my Bible study time and made it um, more exciting and of course um, more of a blessed time as I grow more and more in the Lord and developing strong character and enjoying all that God has provided for me as I fulfill my purpose and the reason why I am an editor. All right, so the first two here, I'll be showing you four tools. Um, just waking up in the morning and trying to do this recording, so please um, try to forgive my voice if I sound a little bit sleepy. Um, I'm not, I'm awake. So the four of them um, I want to show you today is the audio Bible. I've spoken about this in a couple of videos, and then these websites. Um, all of them all have um, free um, versions that you can use. It's called the Blue Later Bible Org. And then we have the Bible Study Tools.com and also the Mounds Translation from Bible Gateway. All right, so let's start from this the Mounds Translation. Um, what is this translation about? So it's a translation that gives us the um, original meaning um, in, in Greek. Yeah, so it's written here the Mounds with us interlinear New Testament was originally created for a series of Greek-English interlinear published by um, Zondavan. Now it's available for general use and I will give away and within other software. So um, we all know that English is quite limited and quite limited. Um, if you speak any other language apart from um, English, um, you will see how um, limited the language is in the sense that um, the words of that English they use are not sufficient enough to really describe um, feelings or your emotions or what you're trying to communicate in. Um, I guess you know what I'm trying to say. Um, if you understand that, in most cases, please comment on that um, comment section. Let's see how English has been so limiting sometimes um, in your com communication and conversations, and that can also affect the way we. Um, the way we understand the scriptures if we are not able to know exactly what these words mean and what um, was being communicated because of either um, for some people in even insufficient understanding of the English language that is not sufficient can really affect your Bible study time. So let's see something like um, knowledge here to know. So we see that um, Epignosis, it means the coming at the knowledge of a thing. So full knowledge, ascertainment, um, to become one, you know, with what, with what you know. So that's that, you know, um, if you said the scriptures, that's for you. You find out that there is um, epignosis, there is gnosis, yes, there's um, coming to an understanding, just an awareness, you know, that's idle, uh-huh. And you know, just here we're not here to study Greek this um, in this video. But if you're just confused, like what does the word you know glorious or glory mean? Um, see here it is dogsa. Okay, so um, basically this will help you to be able to um, know the original meaning of words and maybe help you with your Bible study time to be able to clarify some things that um, English may not be able to help you do. So I hope that helps. Okay, let's just go straight also to um, to the audio Bible. Um, I've spoken about this a couple of times in my other videos. Um, I really love the NIV dramatized. So you just go to Bible Gateway, Resources, Audio, and listen to the Bible. Um, they have various options. You can see all these are for free. Free, 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 yeah. But for me specifically, I just like the NIV dramatized and just because of the way it, it presents the book um, of Revelation. I like the whole sound. So. Revelation, chapter one. The revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him. So you see, um, I love that because uh, I have a very active mind. So with the dramatized version, when I'm listening, um, while I'm commuting, I've said this before that I love to listen to audio Bible while I'm commuting, while I'm cleaning or doing something. So just at the background, and I really do this especially for the books that I'm studying 
all the characters I'm studying, whatever I'm doing at that time. Um, I try to play um, across the day where I'm free, where I have time to be able to multitask. I mean, listen and do other things. I love to just have the NIV dramatized Bible playing. And my favorite um, of the books, they kept in audio for me, is still the uh, book of Revelation. I just love it. Um, so that's just about this. You can um, move around with the various translations as well. Maybe you don't like an IV dramatized, you might like something else. So um, it's just nice. Um, the only downside I find with this, especially if you're using it on uh, on a phone, uh, will be if you're not active, I think so, um, it goes off. So if the screen is not active, um, after a while it goes off. But aside that, I think that's okay. And um, I've not searched um, Bible Gateway on my phone to see if it has this NIV dramatized, but I guess it does. Okay, next is the blue um, later Bible.com. So it's just, I, I, we don't have time to do a full, a full review on this, but let's see some of the icons that are here. So we see search. You can do search on maybe words, yeah, verses, topics. Um, even translations, um, lexicons, um, etc. And then studies, let's see what they have. So um, they have resources, topical indexes. Let's see multimedia music, live streams, and Bible references, Bible courses. They said these are free. So they have devotionals here like for the study. Where did we come from? And um, yeah, that's about that. And then we have the devotionals. We saw that scripture index, day by day grace, morning reading, nice, help, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. So you see here, they have tutorials how to, um, what search, searching, help tutorial, how to get started, how to use the Bible tools, how to use the search tools, and you know, can contact um, their support for more information. And then, yeah, products, good, ministry, about, and also can donate as well to PayPal, credit cards, and all. Um, well, it's for free, but I think many times we should try as much as possible to um, credit for giving us free stuff that we can use around. So basically for me, um i don't really use this website um, as much the only thing really that um, i do here is you can see this whole bible verse shows up in um, the chapters you know great so for every of the verses as well here to so let's see you can see you can see the interlinears you see so um the transition for every 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 single word um, just almost like the mouse translation now finally today uh we have the biblestudytools.com as well so um let's see some of their tabs you see the bible uh you see the verse of the day uh-huh um like today mm, i have to disable my Add block on um, once. Okay. So let's go. Great. It says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of his glory. It's amazing that this morning what I read is uh, is Ephesians 1 and um, 1 Kings 18. So this is nice. Um, a verse of the day if you want to study by. Um, verses and then um they have verses by topics so um if you want to understand more bible verses on healing warrior and anxiety and prayer bible verses um bible verses for overcoming grief comforting bible verses bible verses for protection bible verses for faith in hard times encouraging bible verses cause promise so just a whole wealth of you know materials that you can go through um, reading plants as well. Uh, if you want to plan, you know, 71 days in Isaiah. Wow. Book order. Chronological. Let's see this. So that means you want to study from Genesis. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, 
as well. You can look at um, chronological study, that's by time of the New Testament, you know, classic, read through passages a day, starting with Genesis, Psalms, and Luke, um, daily gospel, daily Psalms, um, daily wisdom. Let's check daily wisdom. What's there? Uh, okay, nice. That's daily wisdom. We get New Testament, 90 day challenge. I love this. I love 90 day challenges. Okay, good. Um, you have one year on a mansion plan, yeah, stay on track, busy life plan, the Christmas Bible reading, um, thematics. Um, it's amazing. I think so. Like, um, for people who are just looking for that extra help and addition, um, to their Bible study plan. Now, books of the Bible. Let's see what's there. Um, Okay, okay. Let's take um, Deuteronomy, oh, chapter one, summary, author, date of writing, historical setting. Oh, this is nice, 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 nice. Um, what else can we find here? Uh, we can compare translations as well. Okay, so if we say Genesis, for example, um, okay, let's see, chapter one, okay. Uh, 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 verse one. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's good. That's good. So you can see, like almost um, a whole lot of translation at one um, go. I think this should be available in mobile version. Um, I've never, I've never used this in the mobile version before, but I'm gonna check about that and maybe I'll put it in the description box. Okay, so we have the um, where did we stop on um, campaign translations and um, audio Bible. Uh huh. Great. This is nice. Um, do they have the NIV dramatized here? Nope, but it's fine. And then we have the Italian Bible. Okay, great. Perfect. So this is about the Bible. And then let's see studying. Um, one of the things I know here is the concordances. Okay. Um, that's the one I've seen before. And then there's the Nave Topical Bible. And let's say, um, I actually saw someone um, do this. And let's say you go for a topic like faith. Um, let's see, faith, faith, faith. This like is in a dictionary. And then you can see topic on faith. So these are scriptures, scriptures like on faith. Like these are scriptures. And then... Um, faith in christ and um, let's see this um, can you see 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 wow 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 mm -hmm. then we can see um instances of um um how faith was operational in the lives of people um like no one you don't the ark abraham forsaken so this could be like a whole dive um in um your study about faith can you see this and um, you're just here using this as a resource. Like you could study for like the whole year. Like I'm not even kidding you at this moment right now. And um, it would just be so amazing. Um, let's see that again. Let's repeat. You go to Concord Dances. And then you go to Nave Topical Bible um, as well. Then you can look for a word like, let's see. Let's see a word like patience. Patience, patience, da, 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 patience. Now, great. So, you can see, yeah, you can see, you can see Bible verses um, on patience, for example. Um, you can also see things like long suffering, meekness. I think these are um, characters associated, associated with the word patience. You have dictionaries, I'm not going to pronounce this word, so I'm not so sure about pronouncing it properly <laughs> okay great and then um bible stories i think for those who love to read bible stories i think just, I, I have met a couple of people who really find um stories quite an interesting way to study so it's okay 
um, if that works for you. So we have the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, we have stories of Elijah. Um, I think I would love to do this because I'm reading First Kings and um, really nice. Just started with 17, 18 and uh, 19 now. Um, so more like not studying First King, more like looking at Elijah and Elisha. Jesus walk on the water. So all the stories, like you can pick them one after the other. Um, they seem to be like a great wealth of um, resources here, Bible stories, so lexicons here too as well. So let's see um, tools. Um, let me check. I've never checked. Um, I've not um, looked at the tools before. Uh, so interesting. Let me see audio books. Great. Wow. 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 I think I should make use of this. The Pilgrim's Progress. Oh, I love this. I'll actually suggest this book for um for everyone to read if you haven't. And if it's an audio format here and then section wow. one of The Pilgrim's Progress. Wow, that's just nice. And The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer. That's really like an amazing one. The sovereignty of God. That's an very limitation of Christ. Wow. Wow. Um, something I saw here, um, pastors, never looked at that before. Uh -huh. Oh, this is nice. Five simple strategies for better communication. I think, pastors, we need to learn communication. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so stops. Good. Mm -hmm. And then we have blog, sermons, Sunday school lessons. If you're a Sunday school teacher. Wow, this could actually be um, a good resource for Sunday school teachers, maybe just to do your studies and you could make them adaptive as the Holy Spirit will help you to be careful that um, you teach as well. And Bible trivia, um, I guess, Bible games, yeah, if you teach, um, let's say, um, kids, I'm not allowing ads today here, okay? So basically, this is it, and I think you can subscribe for the newsletters. Yeah, newsletters. I'll just put in your email. I think I done that already. Um, so you get your Bible minute in your inbox um, every morning. That's just amazing. So uh, I think these four tools are um, really amazing. You get to listen to audio Bibles, although you can find that in most of the other tools as well. But I love the NIV dramatized here. And then um, we see this Bible study tool as well, where we can get the interlinear verses. Um, very good as well. Um, we're able to look at Bible studies, um, studies tools .com and then Mount Translation. So if you know of other Bible tools that can help, um, help um, maybe mobile apps, I didn't. Um, cover that piece um put in the comment section and um, thank you so much everyone for listening today and i hope that you'll, be, you'll have um a wonderful time um in your bible studies and just know that uh god loves you <laughs> god loves you have a wonderful day do not forget to like share and subscribe Bye.